Welcome back everybody to Dark Souls Remastered where we are going to dive right into the painted world of Ariamis. It should be noted that that cutscene only happens if you have the peculiar doll. I also didn't realize that that sound effect plays the duh noise. And you can hear someone else scuttling around. We'll see them very soon. I'm going to become human and kindle this bonfire. Uh, because I believe this is the only bonfire in here, if I recall correctly, which I will likely do not. I should also probably use these souls while I get a chance. Nothing is, is saying that I won't lose them quickly. I hope this is enough. It is. There we go. And there should be gentlemen right up here. Iron Tarkus wouldn't have been staggered by those attacks. So we can actually go down there. I believe, if I recall correctly, there's an enemy that was quite annoying down there. Yep. Uh, let's say my, my memory was telling me that there's some threat at the top of the stairs to be wary of. And I was right. Oh yes, these abominations. Yep. That's what I feared. That actually scared me. So the, the way to typically deal with those bulbous-headed enemies is to just hit them from range. Soul of a proud knight. Oh yes, the worshippers of Velka. I forgot about these. So there's a lot of we, a lot we can discuss about these individuals. Oh wow, a lot of boys. Oh hello. Okay, everybody, let's just be cool. They're not gonna be cool. So the worshippers of Velka, uh, I believe, are here to protect the painted world. My lore on that is incredibly rusty. And we have a giant white rat. Bit of a conspicuous room now, isn't it? Oh, 
more of our favorites. Trying to get a good read of the room here. I'm going to become poisoned. I know that for a fact now. Oh, oh no. I seem to avoid dying. That's toxic. Could. Wow. I could put on items to mitigate that problem, but yeah. But you know, damage mitigation requires some kind of critical thought. I'm not about that. Uh, my memory's tingling. So that's, that's not a boss room. I don't, is that? No. It might be. Where is that doorway? Where does it overlook? Huh. Where am I going? The red soapstone. Ah. So the red soapstone will actually allow me to invade people's worlds and they invite me in. Did not mean to do that. That was a waste of Nessus Flask. Let's take a look at the red soapstone. Be summoned to another world as a dark spirit and defeat the summoner to acquire humanity. Certain dark wraiths resist their descent into dark and preserve along the honorable path. The red soapstone is for them. So yes, basically invade people's worlds, take their humanity, but do it in a honorable way. Say, hey, if you think you're up to the challenge, try to best me, and I will take your humanity, and you will allow me to, essentially. Okay. I want to go down. A lot of noise I'm not a big fan of right now. Oh, hello. Some pretty cool wings you have there. I fear I may be stuck. I'm in a weird spot where I am. Yeah, that's certain death. That's not. But I don't know if that goes anywhere. Yeah, no. Um. <laughs> um. Am I legitimately like in a spot that I can't get out? There's no way that this is a thing, right? Hold on, I'm gonna try and do a maneuver here. Okay, I see you up there. Am I like out of bounds? <laughs> I'm 
you're just gonna make my life more complicated, aren't you? What am I not seeing? That's a closed off courtyard. Literally nothing in there. No, there's a door over right there. Alright, I gotta... Here, and that's a drop I can make, I believe. Oh, it's also a drop I can make. Okay. I can hear more rats. Why is everything toxic here? Chain is away. Painting, guardian, hood, and outfit. And I have a ragdoll friend on me. Let's take a look at the painting guardian set. If we can find it in our massive collection of goods. Hood worn by the alabaster cloth guardians of the paintings in Enrolando offers substantial protection versus magic. They have guarded the great paintings of Ariamis for ages, passing their duty down over the generations. But the reason for doing so passed from memory long ago. Okay. And that's the courtyard we saw. So my grandpappy was a painting guard. His grandpappy was a painting guard. And you'll be a painting guard, son. One day. Here is the opposite side of where we were previously. So I do need to go down from where I was before. Egg Vermifuge. I believe this comes from where is it? There it is. Bitter sour chestnut. Removes parasitic egg from body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos, and the egg symbolizes this selfless choice. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden, but are allowed under special circumstances. So, yes. Um, <laughs> if you join the uh, Chaos Servant Covenant, um, one thing you can you can have happen is you can actually uh, it's gonna be it's gonna sucky drop. Uh, you can actually have the uh, servant put an egg in your head, uh, which will allow an egg to grow on your head. Uh, Oh, the phalanx. Ah, oh, yes. I forgot about the phalanx. These guys mess me up. It's the worst. Yep. I am actually going to just ignore the phalanx for now. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with you. So, that is actually a callback to Dark Souls, I mean Demon Souls. Uh, the first boss is the Phalanx, uh, which is literally just a collection of blobs. Literally blobs with shields that uh, can also poke from behind the shield. And it's a huge pain for someone who doesn't I'm trying to word this correctly, isn't going to experiment in how to damage enemies. Because if you just try to run straight at it and slash it with your sword, you won't get far. Uh, but if you figure out how to coax pieces out of it and maybe use fire, you can go far. Uh, that wasn't near enough souls. I need just a few more. This might be enough. There we go. Uh, should probably get Vitality to max. All right. 
right. Eliminate one of them. He just suicide bombed me. Ah, uh, yes, they all come out and play. I'm just gonna ignore them. They're really not worth much attention. Knight Jeremiah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, now I'm gonna give you all attention because there's a more important friend coming. And there he is! So Jeremiah is a Chaos Servant. And that spell right there is the Chaos Firestorm. Well, he was relatively weak. Knight Jeremiah was vanquished. And Notched Whip. Let's take a look at the Notched Whip, shall we? The Notched Whip. Whip with sp sharp spikes. Only slightly effective against armor and tough scales, but quite formidable against an opponent with exposed skin. It also cause bleeding. So yes. Uh, basically, you hit someone with that enough times, they will bleed out. Shortcut. Is he? Oh, not on the side. Where did that drop to? Oh, the other side of the wall. Okay. So it's actually over here then. Oh, it's just one humanity, okay. Not quite worth it, but here we are. And before we venture further into the painted world, I am actually going to end this episode. But I want to thank all of you so much for watching, and I'll talk to all of you later. Alrighty. See ya! The circle of life and the rules are